Quickly, we have great, some breaking developments. Day. We're going to go listen Democratic to uh, Senator Chuck Schumer as it relates President to Harris Kamala Harris. Let's listen. And will be elected president in November. We are brimming with excitement, enthusiasm, unity. On Sunday, President Biden showed the world what a great man he is. His true patriotism, his profound sense of decency came shining through. We all know it was not an easy decision for him. But just as he has done in his, his entire life, President Biden's selfless decision not to seek the nomination put our country, our party, and our future first. At his core, he's just an honorable man, a family man, a man of deep faith. We love him. We truly do. I'll have more to say on President Biden later this afternoon in my floor speech. But President Biden's selfless decision has given the Democratic Party the opportunity to unite behind a new nominee, and boy, oh boy, are we enthusiastic. Since President Biden's announcement, we've seen the Democratic Party swiftly coalesce behind Vice President Kamala Harris. When I spoke with her Sunday, she said she wanted the opportunity to win the nomination on her own and to do so from the grassroots up, not top down. We deeply respected that, Hakeem and I did. She said she would work to earn the support of our party, and boy, has she done so in quick order. Vice President Harris has done a truly impressive job securing the majority of delegates needed to win the Democratic Party's nomination to be our next President of the United States. The vast majority of my senators quickly and enthusiastically endorsed her. So now that the process has played out, from the grassroots bottom up, we are here today to throw our support behind Vice President Kamala Harris. I'm clapping. You don't have to. <laughs> it's a happy day. What can I say? <laughs> Together, we, we will keep and hopefully grow the Senate majority. And under future Speaker Hakeem Jeffries, we will win back the House. Democrats are moving forward stronger and more united than ever before. In just the last 36 hours, I have seen a surge of enthusiasm from every corner of our party uniting behind Vice President Harris. An enthusiasm felt in every corner of the country, and it's contagious among Democrats. The volunteers, the small contributions, they're just pouring in in ways even beyond our expectations. Now, we all know that Vice President Harris has a tremendous record to run on. And now begins the next chapter in our quest to make sure Donald Trump does not become president. Today, with one voice, we speak about the dangers he presents to working families, to our country, and to our democracy. We'll, we see very clearly how nervous the Republicans are about our new nominee. Well, they ain't seen nothing yet. Last night, Vice President Harris secured a majority of delegates. Today, in Wisconsin and across America, we begin our next chapter, and it will be our best yet. Vice President Harris will beat Donald Trump and become the next President of the United States of America. Applause. Hakeem. Thank you, Leader Schumer. <laughs> Joe Biden is a patriotic American. Joe Biden is a heroic American. Joe Biden is a great American. Joe Biden will go down in American history as one of the most consequential presidents of all time. President Joe Biden has made the selfless decision to pass the torch to Vice President Kamala Harris, who is ready, willing, and able to lead us into the future. Kamala Harris and her candidacy 
has excited and energized the House Democratic Caucus, the Democratic Party, and the nation. Vice President Harris has earned the nomination from the grassroots up and not the top down. She is ready, she is willing, she is able to energetically and emphatically lead America into the future. Kamala Harris is a common sense leader who knows how to deliver real results for hardworking American taxpayers. Kamala Harris is a courageous leader who has worked hard throughout her entire career to keep our communities safe. Kamala Harris is a compassionate leader who will build an affordable economy that makes life better for everyday Americans. Kamala Harris will fight for our freedom. Kamala Harris will fight for our families. Kamala Harris will fight for our future. I'm proud to strongly endorse Kamala Harris to be the 47th President of the United States of America. We're going to hold the Senate. We're going to win the House. We're going to elect Kamala Harris as our next President in November. Thank you. Yes. Well, questions on this subject. Yes. I know you said that this was a, a, a bottom-up process, but Kamala Harris is the Vice President of the United States. There was no other competition. This is going to be selected by party delegates, insiders, essentially. How, what's your case to the American people and to the Democratic voters that voted for Joe Biden that this isn't a coronation? The bottom line, it was a bottom-up process. People just rallied right to her side. The enthusiasm in this big, diverse, representative party was amazing. You could, you could, it was palpable. You could cut it with a knife. Yes. Schumer, are you worried that Republican efforts will bubble up in states to keep Harris off the ballot, to leave Joe Biden on the ballot? No. Yes. Peter Schumer, when are you guys going to meet with the vice president? Soon. See, we're getting more questions in with short answers. <laughs> you, had, you had a number of conversations with the president over the last several weeks. You went up to Delaware, as described as a bit of an emotional meeting of sorts. I'm wondering, did you ever personally ask him not to run for re-election? Look, the, what I would say is that the president has done an amazing, amazing job as president, one of the best we've ever had. And he put his country first and made the right decision. Thank you, everybody. Senator Schumer and Representative Jeffries there, a giddy Senator Schumer and a resolute Hakeem Jeffries there endorsing VP Kamala Harris to be our nation's next president after she does battle with Donald Trump. You heard that very pointed question there at the end. Did you, in your communications with President Joe Biden, encourage him to not run. He would not answer that question, just continued reemphasizing that they both felt confidence that President Joe Biden had put country over party and did the right thing by getting out of the race. You're going to see a lot of President Joe Biden in the next coming days. And in